Hey guys, we just wanted to do an impromptu video today on fabric testers. Uh, we're actually working on an ultralight today, so this is Dacron sailcloth off of a Quicksilver. Uh, we're actually making a UV coating also to help protect this. You can see the color on this. This actually was black. This is the bottom side, so you can see how much sun it's gotten. These sails are six years old and have 800 hours on them. This is on a training aircraft. Uh, so we're replacing the sails, but while we're doing it, we thought we'd play with the fabric testers a little bit. This is a tester that we got from AirTech, which is the Quicksilver uh, supplier, manufacturer now in Louisiana. Uh, this is actually made from a belt tester, I think. Uh, it's calibrated in pounds of downward pressure. It's got a little O-ring on there. And so what we do is we slide the O-ring all the way up. We put it on the fabric and we just gently push down and we go until it pops right there. Now if we look at the O-ring, there's a couple different scales on here. Pounds is what we're after. And what we're reading on this time looks like about 12 pounds. I believe Quicksilver is calling for 15 pounds as a minimum to be safe for flight, so this obviously fails. Now if we flip it over to the dark side, we slide our O-ring back. We almost buried it all the way. Let's see where we're at. 30, it looks like about 32 pounds. So you can see how much the sun has affected that fabric. Now the interesting thing is we also have a mall tester. Now the scale on a mall tester is not calibrated in pounds. This is supposed to be roughly equivalent to pounds in a pull test. In other words, if you've got 45 on this scale, that means a one inch wide piece of fabric in a pull tester would fail with 45 pounds on it. So this is more for the certified world. It's also a lot more expensive. This is $550, this is $25 but this is more of a calibrated, precise instrument. Let's see what we got here. Oh, that went right through. Let's try it one more time. Okay, so we're at 40 on the mall tester. And the absolute lowest you can ever go on a mall tester is 46 in the certified world. So obviously this would fail as well. Let's flip it over and see what we've got here. On the good side, there's 70, 75, 80. And we buried them all tester and did not go through. Left a little indentation, but did not fail. Now obviously if you're testing an airplane that you're hoping is gonna be, is gonna pass, you don't necessarily need to go, let's go on the good side, you don't need, need to go until it fails. Whatever your spec is, if your spec is 15 for a minimum, once you hit 15 and it doesn't pop, you've passed. So you really haven't even hardly left a mark on there. Uh, on our system, at least, if there is a mark, a little bit of heat will take it off. It won't bother anything. Now, if you have a, a system with dope or, or an old solvent polyurethane, it's likely gonna crack it. So keep that in mind. It's not required to use a mall tester if you're in a certified world. Uh, if you're doing an annual inspection or something, uh, it's not really, a positive determination of the condition of the fabric. It's to help you determine, help you make an opinion as an IA as to whether or not it's airworthy, but it's not the final say. The only test that is a complete final say according to the FAA is a pull test. And they want you to remove a piece of fabric, clean all the coatings off of it, and then pull test it, which most owners are gonna have a hemorrhage if you tell them a test what you wanna do, so. Uh, the mall tester is a handy tool. Again, it's very expensive. Even as an IA, you could just as easily use this $25 tester to help form an opinion. Again, neither one of them is a, necessarily a final determination. It's just an aid in helping you determine it. Uh, we did come up with some conversions here. Let me pull that out real quick to help you in that. The mall tester, when it fails at 55 on the scale, we're getting 15 inches on the cheap tester. Uh, 45 on the mall tester came out to 12 on the cheap tester, and 38 came out to 11. So 
That'll give you some rough equivalence on these two testers. Again, the, the cheap one came from AirTech in Louisiana. I believe their website is air-techinc.com. So I hope that helps you guys. Hope you understand the fabric testers a little bit more and can make a good determination on an annual. Thank you.